Hi everybody, Andrew here back again for another Barista Basics video. Uh, before I start, I would like to just give a quick shout out to Pete Bay, who has very graciously offered to pay for a service to closed caption um, some of my Barista Basics videos. So I'm super appreciative of that and I will certainly take him up on that opportunity because of course I'd like my videos to be more accessible to um, everybody, you know, our hard of hearing and our deaf friends too should of course get to learn about coffee because it's fun um so i'd like to thank you again pete for um, your generous offer and i will certainly take you up on that um but to get into the meat of today's video we are going to be discussing how to properly taste your coffee so last week we discussed the four tasting characteristics of your coffee so now it would only make sense for us to talk about how to actually properly taste them your coffee and be able to describe um, those four characteristics. So I have another little cheat sheet here for us. The four S's, the four steps of coffee tasting. We have smell, slurp, sense, and share. So our first step, smell, is, as the name describes, going to be smelling our coffee. It's very important to smell your coffee before you taste it because your nose can detect a lot more intricacies than your mouth can. Um, and this really just helps sort of prepare your brain for the coffee that's to come. Now, moving on to slurp, this is where we're going to literally slurp our coffee. You don't want to be pretty about it, no table manners here for coffee tasting. You want to um, slurp it so that the coffee is sprayed all across your tongue and this will help you be able to uh, distinguish some of the more subtle flavors, the subtleties of your coffee, and overall just get a better uh, taste of your coffee. So now that we've slurped our coffee, now we can sense the coffee on our tongue. This is also called uh, location. And so this means you are starting to um, think about how the coffee feels on your tongue. So last week we discussed um, body and acidity and that's really where those two characteristics get to shine is in this step because um, this is the step where you actually have the coffee um, in your mouth at this point and you are able to be like okay you know this is a pretty full-bodied coffee I it feels pretty heavy on my tongue the flavor is pretty long-lasting um, you know I'm not really getting a huge um, sensation on my tongue a little tingly feeling so it's probably not very acidic that's really where um, you would get to uh, describe those characteristics is in this step. And then lastly, our last step, sharing. This is you describing your coffee. So I find it really helpful to uh, write down the characteristics of my coffee when I taste them. Um, you know, this is where you can write more about the um, different subtleties between the flavors. You can also, of course, um, talk about the acidity and the um, body of your coffee. And yeah, so pretty self-explanatory, the coffee tasting, the four S's. So I'm going to show a little preview of it again. And I also figured, you know, it would be important to demonstrate a coffee tasting properly. So here with me, I have two different um, coffees. I have a Veranda, which is a blonde roast, a light roast, and I have Cafe Verona, which is a dark roast. Um, I should also mention that coffee tasting is more effective when you taste different coffees at the same time. So, you know, it wouldn't be very effective for me just to taste Veranda, for example, because I'd have nothing to compare it to. So that's why I have two different coffees here. So let's go ahead with our Veranda, give it a good smell. Oh, smells great. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and slurp it. And so now we've slurped our coffee. Now I'm sensing the coffee. It's been a few seconds. The flavor has not really um, stayed on my tongue. So it's a pretty light bodied coffee. Not a super high amount of acidity. I'd say probably um, feels like a medium acidic coffee. And sometimes a second sip is necessary too. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. 
yeah, it doesn't really have much of a pronounced um, flavor or anything, a certain flavor profile. Just feels pretty um, mellow and soft on the tongue. So now let's go ahead and try our Cafe Verona, our dark roast as a contrast. So again, we're gonna smell our coffee. Mm. Has a much, you know, richer, deeper smell to it. We're gonna go ahead and slurp our coffee now. Ooh, spray it all over the tongue. <laughs> Gave me a little chill. Um, so now we can start to describe the coffee. Um, definitely, um, the flavor is lasting longer on my tongue, so it definitely is full-bodied. Uh, acidity, not super crazy. You know, it's not, you know, my tongue's not doing dances or anything, so it's not crazy acidic. Um, let's go ahead and do a second sip for this guy, too. So, flavor-wise, this definitely has, I would say, a more distinct flavor than a uh, veranda. Definitely has kind of a, like, some cocoa notes to it. Pretty deep, rich cocoa flavor. Uh, yeah, kind of roasty, maybe, perhaps a little smoky um, characteristic to it. Uh, yeah. So we've demonstrated how to properly uh, taste our coffee. I'm gonna go ahead and show again the um, four S's, the four steps to tasting our coffee. Um, and yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Sorry I'm not donned in my Starbucks attire, but I showed up a little early today so that I could record this video. I um, hope my hair isn't too crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys learned something. And again, I'd like to give a shout out to Pete Bay for his um, great generosity for offering to pay for closed captioning for my videos. So with that said, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much.